Royals, what's going on? It's your girl Q the Queen here, back with another video. Now, make sure if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, almost at 5K, like super close, like a slither away. So once we get to 5K, we get an event, we got bars, we got a giveaway. Let's make it fun, but we got to get there first. Hit that subscribe button. And also, make sure you hit that like button. The like button definitely helps your girl uh, gain awareness across the platform. And if you have some comments, make sure you share your thoughts. Make sure you share your feedback. Anything you want to get off your chest. Hit that comment section because me and my royals, we talks about it so today i kind of wanted to uh talk about a little bit of something that i've been thinking over uh just because you know for sneaker lovers out there we have family members friends um associates and multiple people that may know we're into sneakers but they don't quite understand uh just how uh just how deep it could go um and i want to talk about how sneaker collecting is more than a hobby and i have some reasons why so i have five points that i want to make in terms of driving this whole discussion home okay so number five legacy and influence so it's one thing to, to buy sneakers and you know you're fresh, you're in the streets, you look cool. Bet. I mean, we all we all kind of want to look a little fresh when we out in these streets. I mean, that that just goes without saying. Uh, especially if you're from the urban community, that's that's pretty much where your love for sneakers started. But the thing about it is, sneaker fashion culture raises a whole lot of money consumer consumer wise. Um, I mean, all of these companies that, especially the major companies, we're talking about millions and billions of dollars in consumer sales, uh, just based off of people buying shoes, clothes, scarves, hats, all of these varying things. So I say all of that to say, you can actually build a brand <laughs> and build yourself up as an influencer, uh, just based off of your love for sneakers. Um, and so, you know, if you like to put outfits together, you know, you could figure out a way to parlay that. If you like to uh, just do different cool things with shoes, you might even find that you, you know, you can couple it with uh, art. You know, you, you might want to do painting and drawing and all of these varying things and you love sneakers and you want to just integrate it. So it's multiple things that can be built off of your love for sneakers, right? Um, you can build a platform, you have a personality, maybe you want to start a YouTube channel, right? Maybe you want to start a blog, maybe you want to uh, start something that will grow a platform for you to not only express your love for sneakers, but it builds up your brand just overall and what you can bring to people that value the same sort of things. So my number five, again, is legacy and influence. If you build it up enough, you might be able to set yourself up in the long run um, where maybe you know your nephew uh, a child that's directly from you your, your son your daughter uh, might be interested and can carry the torch once you decide that you want to kind of lay back so <laughs> legacy and influence is actually available uh, within this culture and so um, it's something to think about something to really think about people get into this and not really have any direction but you can definitely have direction. Just know who you are and what you could bring. Number four is travel. Uh, believe it or not, there are multiple uh, events throughout the country and throughout the world that celebrate sneakers. Uh, you might find that you haven't traveled much, but just knowing that you can go from one place to the other and meet up with people that like something that you like, it could encourage you to start traveling. It really could, whether that be car, bus, train or plane um you will find a way to get somewhere if you care enough about the culture of it um community is a part of the culture so uh traveling it could be for you know sneaker conventions could be for maybe a grand opening of a boutique that maybe you followed when they were in another city could be for some sort of pop-up from your favorite brand that you just want to check out and maybe get some exclusive stuff um it's just it's a lot of reasons to go ahead and travel maybe 
there's some exclusive pickup that you might have some funds. You're like, you know what? Let me fly out to uh, let me fly out to Paris and go ahead and check this this uh this collection out. You know what I mean? Some sort of collection based off of maybe like an artist or some fashion icon or something like that. Like it's it's multiple things to be encouraged to travel when it comes to this particular community. Now, if you're the type that you just like to be, you know, typing on your keyboard at home and just scrolling through your IG and you don't really go nowhere, you spend all your money on sneakers, then it might be a little difficult for you. But if you want to expand, <laughs> if you want to expand your sneaker, um, experience your sneaker culture experience i definitely recommend traveling and travel is something that i've been doing for the last couple of few years actually um so we're in 2020 now i think i probably first started traveling um for sneaker related things would be since probably 2016 so um ever since then i can't imagine myself not really um, going out and about and really connecting and you know making contacts making relationships um, seeing some different things um, it's 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 really it's, it's rewarding so definitely travel would be on my reasons why uh, sneaker collecting is more than a hobby number three community and friendships so sneaker culture a lot of people have no clue uh as to the fact that there's actual community <laughs> within the culture um this was something that even i didn't know uh for a long time uh social media of course has brought a lot of light to that um uh, my early days of just loving sneakers just was me loving sneakers i didn't think that there was like a whole pool of people that that love the same thing and that you know we could connect and we talk and we you know have dinner we meet in Atlanta we meet in Dallas we meet in wherever and you know we just make a whole thing out of it I had no clue <laughs> some of my closest friends now are the people that you know I met within sneakers like I'm so in my element uh, when I'm doing something that's sneaker related in terms of like going to a sneaker con or a complex con or you know popping into somebody's store or whatever the case um it's 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 something like it, it really is it is something that exists um and i'm glad that this point came after my travel point because for those of you who have yet to understand why a lot of folks kind of put so much stock into you know going to conventions or any sort of events it's because we want to commune like we want to we want to meet up with each other and have fun and talk and you know just just fellowship really um sneakers bring us together you know what i'm saying it really does uh i talk about this all the time when i go to sneaker cons it's not to actually see sneakers um sneakers brought me there so i'm not there to go and see sneakers i'm actually there to you know have fun with and see who i can see whoever's going to be in the same town and we you know we just have fun it's just really what it is to kick it i'm there to kick it like <laughs> i don't know how else to say it so the community component is definitely definitely something that you could enjoy if you open your mind up and you know you're willing to go out and and, and you know meet people number two um it's kind of related to the first point that i made at number five so a business can derive out of sneaker collecting so of course the face value thing is okay you could buy sneakers you could buy exclusive sneakers and resell them boom okay that's easy boom boom all right but you can also as you build a brand you know for your love for sneakers you yourself <laughs> can become the business so so now you are uh, what can be considered the influencer or the personality um, that happens to uh, be able to show value to a particular item related to sneakers so that alone is a business right you yourself is a business so um, I mean it's just it's multiple things that could could come out of it there's people that have made a living just off of sneakers and that just be it like they blood sweat and tears camping out um, <laughs> Uh, you might find that you can partner with different companies and, and maybe bring some ideas that, uh, 
you know, maybe people in their boardroom weren't so close to the culture enough to be able to come up with and really bring to fruition. I mean, it's a lot of different ways to uh, kind of parlay your interest and, and make it into something, make it a business. So um, use your platform for something that, you know, you love. It, it's, it's so important. It's so important. Um, I think a lot of the how-to or inspirational or motivational speakers talk about often one thing that's very common is the the, the pursuit of passions uh, so that when you do the things you have to do it won't seem so strenuous doing the things you have to do are to fund your passions so when you give your all to your passions it won't seem so so much like a dead end like you're really you're really pouring into the passion and so therefore you do it right and you kind of have some form of goal set out Business can come from that. Business can come from that. So just figure out how to diversify. And um, yeah, <laughs> business can definitely be um, why sneaker collecting is more than a hobby. I think that number one um, pretty much goes without saying for those who are into sneaker collecting. But uh, for those who maybe just want to gather some understanding, um, this is a very foundational reason why sneaker collecting is more than a hobby. The value can equate to money in the long run, okay? So those 100, 200, 300, however many pairs of shoes that your loved one um, is, is carrying, and I'm speaking in terms of the people that don't understand our sneaker collecting. So all of those sneakers that, you know, your brother, sister, nephew, niece, whatever the case, friend um, has, there are sneakers in that collection. There's a good chance there's sneakers in that collection that could later on down the line uh, be worth something. They could be worth something. Worth something enough to um, sell and pay off, you know, sell and pay off a car, a house, sell off and, and pay and, and invest you know what i'm saying so it's you know sneakers can be worth enough to where you can actually change your life you can pay off debt i mean it's 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 really something that it's, it's probably one of the the main things that people think of if you really look into it and understand uh market value and how that whole thing works and you know just because something maybe not be super popular today you know 10 15 years from now who knows who's going to be seeking that shoe you know what i'm saying if it holds up enough the value sticks around and if you have enough of them and you want to decide okay i'm gonna let some of these go um you know you could easily do that and be able to fund whatever you let let them go for or even if you weren't trying to fund something you can still just have the money stashed up so um, it's really just, it's really cut and dry with the first reason. It really is. It's really cut and dry. Value can equate to money in the long run. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, man. I didn't want to come in here and ramble too much. I know I kind of elaborated a lot. Some of the points derived from other points so they kind of overlapped a little bit but hopefully you gathered an understanding um hopefully if you are a sneaker collector maybe you know your wife your husband or some family member can find value in this video and understand uh why you suddenly decided you want to pursue uh building a platform in sneakers like <laughs> to them it's just shoes uh but for us it's something that can create so much more sneaker collecting is definitely more than a hobby y'all make sure y'all hit me in the comment section and let me know if there's any um points that you would have thought of that i didn't that i maybe i left off of my list um again i didn't want it to be too long i wanted to hit kind of the heart points the heart of it all the meat and potatoes um but definitely hit the comment section and let me know maybe some other reasons why sneaker collecting is more than a hobby so I'm looking forward to what you guys have to say about it. It's another one from your girl Q the Queen. And I'll definitely be back for more. Uh, and you definitely come back for some more. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> Royalty. <laughs>